on in our marriage, I was blessed with the opportunity on two different occasions to go to Brazil on mission trips. The second time, Lisa was able to go on the mission trip too. And in the two short weeks she was there, Lisa managed to learn to communicate remarkably well with the Brazilians and Portuguese. She probably learned about 500 words and her accent was good too. So much so that one of the workers where we stayed was sure that Lisa had studied Portuguese in university. He couldn't believe that Lisa picked up so much of the language so quickly. I, on the other hand, didn't even learn 50 words, despite being immersed in the language twice as long as Lisa was. Why such a big difference in how much of the language we were able to speak? How was Lisa able to learn more than 10 times as many words as I did in half the time? Was it because Lisa's better with languages than me? Uh, she might be. But when I look back on that time, I see that Lisa and I had very different mindsets about the whole thing. Lisa just plowed in and tried to speak Portuguese. She knew she'd probably say things wrong, and she did. But she had a healthy mindset about the whole thing and chose to laugh at her mistakes and keep trying. <laughs> and with some of her mistakes, everyone was laughing. There were a couple of times what she said was horribly and hilariously wrong. Unfortunately for me, my mindset held me back. You see, I, I didn't want to say anything unless I could say it exactly right. And therefore, I didn't even try to speak a tiny fraction of the amount of times that Lisa did. My mindset told me I wouldn't be able to do it. And as a result, I wasn't willing to take the risk of saying something wrong. That fear of making mistakes held me back. And it meant I learned very little of the language. Lisa's mindset said she'd give it her best shot and learn from her mistakes and enjoy the experience along the way. She knew that she'd likely say things wrong at first, and she knew that that was the only real path to learning how to say things right. That's just one example of how different mindsets going into a situation can produce radically different results. The Bible tells us that as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Our mindsets are vitally important. Here's how the word mindset is defined. A mental attitude or inclination, a fixed state of mind. What we think about ourselves in our hearts really determines our identity. What we believe about ourselves really does have a massive impact on what outcomes we experience in any given situation. Henry Ford famously said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Our mindsets are far more important than many of us appreciate. That's why the Bible tells us to guard our, guard our hearts. You know, for example, keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. That word keep means to set a watch over. It's not talking about a wristwatch. It's saying to place a guard over our hearts and be vigilant about it too. The word issues refers to borders or boundaries or extremities. The idea is that we need to pay close attention to the condition of our hearts because it's our heart's condition that ultimately determines how big our influence is for the kingdom of God. Look at how the New Living Translation renders that verse. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. It's an exhortation to protect our own hearts above everything else because our heart is what sets the course of our lives. Not only does our heart determine where we go, it also sets the limit on how far. People tend to think it's outside forces that limit how far we can go. The world will tell you that it's factors such as your skin color or economic status or the country that you were born into or how much formal education you have or, or what your family situation is that control how far you can go in life. But when it comes to reaching your ultimate destiny, the Bible shows us it's external factors, that, that all those external factors, they're secondary to the internal condition of our heart. <laughs> It's just like how the different mindsets that Lisa and I had about learning a foreign language dramatically affected how quickly we learned that language. The mindset you hold in your heart will determine how fast and how far you go in the things of God. 